So if you guys saw yesterday's video, you would know this one was coming. In that video, I showed I got the 99 overall pink diamond Patrick Ewing, and that's the player I'm going to be doing a gameplay with today. I just noticed he looks kind of cute in this picture. <laughs> Anyway, we have a quick look at his stats. I did a like full in-depth video yesterday, so check that out. But just a few quick ones. He's got an 84-3, even though he shot 18% from three in his career. 88 free throw and 88 speed with the shoe I got it on him. He's also got four Hall of Fame badges, including post-spin technician, which should be pretty OP. We're in Diamond League Prestige 3. I can only take one L, so I'm definitely going for the W. Let's get into this game. We have found an opponent and he's already pressed start. He's actually got an okay team. I wouldn't say it's too good. His best player is Nate Archibald, but trust me, Giannis is going to destroy him. I could just have a snooze for how long this intro takes. Anyway, we're finally into it. He's playing against DeMarcus Cousins, which should be a pretty easy matchup, especially how it's the Ruby version. So let's hope he can get off to a good start with the easy two once you win the tip. I'm stuttering hard right now. I've tried to do this video quite a bit. Oh my God, this dude is so boring to play against. He's legit just dribbling out the ball and he's got no offense against me. That's such good defense. And that's what I need. Let's wait for pa Look at his speed. Look at that speed. No one can keep up with him. Play a really good defense and I feel him trailing here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's just settle. Settle for a few seconds. Get the cut. No. Feed him. Yes. Go up. Yeah. Uh oh Why would Giannis leave Nate Archibald wide open? I hate it when Patrick Ewing has to inbound the ball because it really does ruin my game plan with him. But a little midi there. Never hurt no one. See, this is where it's easy. When it's just like that, a fast break, easy score. All right, let's feed him in the post. He should sew it. He does not get those dunks. I've done a few of them before and like he always misses them. When he goes into that animation, usually most players make it. Does sort of annoy me that, you know, he missed that, but this should be an easy score, but I'm just playing so badly. Like he's just drawing every foul, which sounds very common. Okay, I am sc Oh jeez, I was not, a okay, I'm scoring with him here. Too easy. Give me that too. Now dunk on him. Two points. Two points equals four. What am I saying? I don't know. <laughs> somehow he missed that and somehow Patrick Ewing ends up with the board. And you ready? Um, I don't know. I don't usually do this that often, but let's call it pick and roll. And it actually worked. Although he missed the shot, unfortunately. But that's okay because, you know, he's still a monster. And... Gets blocked under the ring. What is my defense? I am so confused. All right, we should have him here. And yeah, John Wall's not even playing defense on me. Too easy. Even though that was really good defense, but I had the offensive rebound. I could so easily score just by going like that and scoring, but I probably shouldn't have taken that, to be honest. I'm not taking that. All right, cut for me. Now, go up, and one, two free throws. Now, this is something I didn't know first. Look at how long his free throw is. It takes forever. It is pretty high rated though, so he hasn't missed for me. Unfortunately, he's inbounding there, so I can't just get the easy score like usual, but I should have him here, which I do, and this should be an easy score. It is. Finally, I get a steal, and that is not happening, mate. Let's hit Patrick Huey. Take the three. Green light, give me that. Can I maybe just get an easy score here? I easily will. All right, I got a steal by myself. And let's give it to Patrick. Get the dunk. And let's go. All right, this should be an easy score too. Is it? He finishes. All right, let's push it and give it to him now. And now go up. He's on fire now. Oh, crazy good defense. And he gets his own rebound. All right, let's wait for him. Now hit him. No. Okay, I can beat Josh Smith. Sapphire Josh Smith is about to get a lesson. Almost an end one. 
All right, I gotta give it to him in the post because, you know, his steal is very good. He gets an assist there. I'm sort of hating this game at the moment. Like, I don't understand how his defense is so good against me. Huge dog. David Thompson gets a block there, and I, I see you, Patrick. I see you. Let's take that midi. It's not even a good shot. It goes in anyway. I'm so thankful my starters are on because they play a million times. How does Patrick Ewan get blocked on that type of dunk? That's all him. Thank you for missing that because that was actually pretty good defense. Okay, let's just give it to Giannis. Give it to Ewing now. Give it to Giannis. Give it to Ewing. Swing, swing. Drive. And get the dunk. It is so annoying playing against zones when you're trying to get these game plays. And I've played three people in a row while I've tried to get these game plays that have run zones. Get that out of here, boy. You know. Get that out of here once again. Two blocks. And get the dunk on the other end. Great defense once again. And we could have... A very big play here. Let's give it to him. It's the man of the hour. Okay, we make that baby. We're up by two. Patrick Ewing seems to not care though. Like sometimes I need just a little bit of help on my side. Just, a, just that wee bit that allows me to do stuff like that. Two free throws. Okay, he finally gets a steal. And I'm feeding D-Wade. I'm feeding Giannis. And I'm pulling it out. I'm feeding Patrick Ewing. Easy two with the dunk. Okay, I'm finally starting to get quite a few steals. Let's hope his passing is good, George Mikan. Easy finish. He missed a dunk. Finally 2K sort of on my side. And that's probably a really bad pass, to be honest. Okay, let's feed him here. Easy midi if you miss that. Thank you. You're not scoring on me. I told you. Why come at me if you're not going to score on me? Good point, Angus. Alright, let's feed him, and let's go up, almost the end one, MVP, Mr. C's free throw, P, MVP, oh my god, I did my worst two releases I've ever done with the MVP chan, and don't tell me, I'm dead, is that an end one, no, nope, just two free throws, I'm making both of these, I missed two 91 free throws. That was a full white bar on a 91 free throw. Get those muscles, get the hustle, get the strength with the muscle. Alright, this game's close. I really need him. He fouled me. I don't know why, but he's not going to miss. Are you serious? I am missing all my free throws. If he had made that, I would have been dead. He's not fouling for some reason. Finally, he decides to. If you miss one of these, Patrick Ewing, I'm discarding you, even though I can't. One from one. And two from two. I thought he actually missed. That's why I had the little stumble. We end up winning by four points. Patrick Ewing played pretty well I have had better games with him but I didn't record those ones unfortunately so this is his stats 20 minutes 58 points six rebounds one assist three steals zero blocks which I'm kind of disappointed about because I think I've only got like two blocks in the three games I played with him four turnovers those are just hundred percent my fault and 23 from 39 could be better some of the threes I took weren't so good, so don't worry about that. But the one I did get, he seems really good at corner threes, but not really from the top of the arc. Not many players on his team played that well, but I was just trying to get a gameplay with this Patrick Ewing, and I think I got it. So we're now 1-0, and, and now let's have a little look at his stats. So three games, he's averaged 47.3 points, six rebounds, 0.7 blocks, which is kind of weird. Look at his three-point percentage, though. I need to just stop taking those. It's actually a real-life representation because he shot 18%. But anyway, I'm really happy with this card. I'm so happy I got him because I'm just trying to score with him in these games. But if I was to play him as just, you know, a normal player that I have on my team, he's going to be insane. My only issue with my team at the moment is my bench. I hate them 
so much. I so need to somehow get some MT to be able to buy a new small four, new point guard, new shooting guard, and another center. And I need that Dennis Rodman because I love that card. But I mean, this is the team for the moment and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm extremely happy that I have the Patrick Ewing and for more gameplay, make sure to leave a like on the video because pretty much every game that I play now, I will have that card. And yeah, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Thanks guys. Bye.